just happened actually so England just played um, Germany and we drew 3-3 three, three. Um, last game of the Nations League we already got you know relegated from that so it wasn't actually going to mean anything anyway we we're going to advance in the competition but still the talking point for me for the most of this has definitely have been Harry Maguire's performance especially in that second half those two mistakes that led to basically Germany getting a two goal lead which we ended up clawing back and leading for a short period of time and then you know they get the equaliser towards the end with Kai Havertz tapping in a rebound from the goalkeeper who probably should have had a little better but it was a pretty hard shot to kind of you know gather in your hands because it bounced right in front of him and hit his chest before kind of landing on Kyra's feet and he did the business but Harry Maguire's performance wow that was what you call a horror show and as much as I like to go in on him I would start off first of all and say that really wasn't his fault because he should have never been picked in the first place I think now we know the importance of having some level of club form going into uh, crunch games like that especially if you're just going to be someone that's going to come in from the cold it might be better off if you're like hey imagine you're a player playing for your club team and you're just not performing for them but then the manager of your national team knows you and knows how to get certain things out of you. So maybe they might trust their judgment and their skill in coaching and people management to be like, you know what, just come. Come anyway, I'm going to pick you um, and I'm going to unlock the animal in you. And then you're going to go back to your club and told a different person. They're going to be like, oh my God, who's this guy? But it didn't happen for Maguire, man. It didn't happen for him at all. Um, he looked shaky as hell with players running at him. The Musiala thing was probably the worst, I think. I think I mentioned it prior. The first goal he conceded, which was a penalty, right? And he took down the player inside the box. I think that was worse because from what I remember looking at it, Musiala didn't even do that much. Um, I don't think the step over was that great. The shimmy wasn't that great compared to what he can usually do, right? That kid's an absolute beast. I think he's like 19, right? Um, crazy. Grew up in the UK, but went and lived in Germany, I think, for a bit. And now he's basically a German citizen. But in general, I think his family is actually German. I'm not sure how it worked out, but, you know, he's actually, you know, used to play in England. There's pictures of him in in old England tops or whatnot. But, the interesting part I thought was that that wasn't even the best skill I've seen him do. That was kind of just basic, right? But it still sent flipping Harry Maguire to the shop so much so that his leg inadvertently just, you know, about him probably wanting to trip the kid over, which was flipping hilarious. You know what I mean? Seeing that. But the other mistake as well was also equally, maybe equally, because I thought the first one was worse because, you know, he got skanked or he got dropped by a kid that wasn't really doing that much dropping. But I thought the other one was even worse, personally, for me. That was even worse. Because it looked like he tried to redeem himself, doing something that he's clearly not good at in terms of dribbling. That whole idea that he comes out from the back wall is bullshit too. Um, he's a big lad, Harry Maguire, from what I've seen on TV and just from him watching him playing football. He's probably closer to, you know, 6'3", 6'5", than he is flipping 6'1". The guy is an absolute unit, so it does make a lot of sense why that whole coming out from the back thing and dribbling with, you know, his size 13 feet is not going to work. And it clearly didn't work. As soon as he got rubbed off the ball, I was like, oh my God, no Maguire, no Maguire, because he didn't start running really quickly. Someone else started running because they kind of sensed what was happening, but she just kind of held back, maybe because she was intimidated, I'm not sure what happened. But in general, those two mistakes really cost England and they could eventually have lost to a loss in general, but it didn't, right? We ended up drawing the game. But if you listen to the commentary, you would never guess so. Especially especially if you would never guess who the culprit was. They really went out of their way to not mention him at all until they got to analysis of the actual goal and people still kind of pussyfooted around it until, um, bless his heart, flipping Jermaine Defoe decided to lend in some, some lend his opinion and he actually said the real when it comes to Harry Maguire. He didn't actually kind of try and sugarcoat it for the sake of it because the guy is flipping 29 years old. He's the captain of Man United still officially and people are putting baby gloves on him and not letting him really play poorly or not play poorly. So he continues, he says, yeah, um, um, what did he say here? Yeah, he said, this is Jermaine Defoe. He says, you look at the goals and they were avoidable, he said on Channel 4. Silly mistakes to give the ball away and then you give the ball away penalty and uh, individual mistakes that for some reason this always seems to be him. Um, he says, Maguire's inclusion is out to the starting lineup um, against Italy and Germany over the past three days has been one of the main point, talking points of international break. The defender's um, name was booed when it was read out ahead of kickoff on Monday with some fans clearly feeling that he shouldn't be in the team based on his current form. He also jeered during the game, especially when things are going downhill, looking at the back and nothing. So that's the thing with him also. It's always been an issue. Just He's refused to acknowledge how he might look to certain people. It's just wild. 
it's just literally wild. One of the things that kind of just blows my mind about the guy. But yeah, I thought Jermaine Defoe definitely brought the noise in terms of kind of holding him to account. And so the follow is a funny one because I like that. I said he's on the top of the show. There's been a lot of negativity around him and you want him to play well because he's done to one and Thomas Finland, of course. But it's not going to happen anytime soon, mate. He's a, a void, He's devoid of being able to receive any constructive creative feedback unless it's tied to money or something. He's listened to it in the slightest. But, you know, what can you do? And again, Harry Maguire is probably going to end up, you know, still being at the club for another five years. We still haven't managed to get rid of flipping, what's his name? Um... I don't know, I forgot what the kid's name. Oh, Phil Jones, that's the one. We still have managed to get rid of Phil Jones. So Phil Jones isn't going anywhere and he's English. He's meant to be an English lion or whatever, maybe, right? We're definitely not going to really get rid of um, Flipping Majigi, Harry Maguire anytime soon. It's not happening. 